for watching this video welcome back to my channel if you're returning if you're new thank you so much for trying my channel out quick spill to the folks that are new here i'm just talking about um what my video is about my videos or my channel is about really so i do talk about handbags usually it has a pre-owned twist to it but i also throw in new and unbox new items too basically in product reviews so i don't discriminate i buy new and used <laughs> So definitely consider subscribing as well as my lifestyle videos cover topics ranging from how to's tips tricks anything that has nothing to do with like a fashion accessory goes under that lifestyle category so definitely consider subscribing I would love to have you join me as well as go ahead and like like the little button down below that will really help me out as well as comment definitely comment ask me questions i have enjoyed talking to you and hello to my new subscribers thank you so much for coming all right so let's get into the videos and there are some more playlists down below so definitely check those out after you finish this video so this is going to be let me look at my list here because i made a list yes the three things that i learned after using my fendi peekaboo so this is going to be the Fendi Mini Peekaboo. Now, just a quick catch up if this is your first video of mine or you did not see that previous video, which you will see the unboxing video linked up above, which is over by uh, Fendi Peekaboo. Anyway, <laughs> I'm so excited trying to get this out. So, don't mind me, y'all. Don't mind me. All right. So, <laughs> um, if you have watched that video, definitely I encourage you to check it out. I do go through the unboxing. I talk about kind of my journey to purchase the Peekaboo, as well as I talk about some pros and cons. So, it is a longer video, but I did that to make it as detailed as I possibly could. This video will be a quick one, and I'm already two minutes in. So, get with it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like I showed, this is my Fendi Mini Peekaboo that I purchased pre-owned. These range, I don't even, I didn't even check the price, but I think it's like th over three thousand dollars. They definitely are three thousand over three thousand dollars, and they have different versions of them. So check it out if you love the style. It's an iconic classic of Fendi. So I wanted to talk about the three things that I learned while carrying my bag like i mentioned before so the reason why i wanted to record this video quick spill here is because if you're like me where you're interested in a bag and you don't want to waste your money so you want to see if it's really going to work for you by watching other videos what reading product reviews things like that so you can figure out whether it really will work for your lifestyle so that's why it's so great when people do those reviews and not only sing the praises, but also reveal things that don't quite work out. And in no way am I planning on getting rid of this bag. In no way am I saying I regret buying it because I do not. But I did want to point out three things that weren't as obvious to me until I started using it. So hopefully this helps you out if you're considering the mini peekaboo. All right. So first up is going to be the straps. So if you haven't seen or do not know about this already the straps do not sw swivel on the older styles i don't know about the newer ones but like i said i got this pre-owned i don't even rem remember from what year but the i have the old one where it has the rings and it just clasps onto the rings that are here on the side here that you see so they don't swivel so it does make it awkward when your bag's moving around that you know, or the way you have to put the, the, I was about to say the drawstring, but the uh, crossbody strap. So that way it actually lays flat and <laughs> on the front and the back of you. I have to say, I, because I did not buy this bag brand new, I don't know whether this is just from the way that it was worn from the previous owner, but as you'll see here, this bar kind of leans forward. And so what I did notice is that with the mini, the openings are not that big. And I even have the sides unclasped and I leave it like that. And this is a softer leather. So knowing all of that and with the rings on here, as you can see, it makes it lean, it leans forward like this. And it leans forward more so when there's a strap on it. So when I'm wearing this, I already have to, I already have in my mind, okay, if I am going to the store and I need to get in and out of my bag, I need to make sure that the side that has my wallet in it is 
away from my body so that way I can get into my bag a lot easier. So as I, as you can see here, because that opening is smaller and then you trying to get in, it does make it a little bit tight. So you do have to think about that. So if you're wearing big rings or anything like that, like my wedding ring is raised. So I am always trying to be mindful of not hitting it on and getting it caught on everything. Also, this is a soft leather. I don't want it to scratch this leather really bad. So that's another thing to think about. But like I said, it does kind of force it more so and you can see it already leaning. So that definitely could be because of the previous owner, but wanted to mention that. So just pay attention to that. This bar is heavy, but for whatever reason, it goes this way, which when I'm wearing the bag, it pushes it more like this. So keep that in mind. Next up on my list is going to be the raincoat. And I'm pretty sure there was one other channel that mentioned this and I, my raincoat's over there. Let me grab my raincoat, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with the raincoat. So this is the raincoat of it. And the concept is great. One video that I did see, which I mentioned, I did do a lot of research before purchasing this bag is, he mentioned the raincoat is not that effective and it doesn't really cover your bag all the way. And I noticed the same thing. Now when he said that, I just thought, okay, technically it's gonna roll off, but truly, let me put this raincoat on so you can see what I mean. First off, if you have your strap, you will see. Does this make sense to you? Come on, Fendi. I hope they improve this with the newer style. But as you can see here, I have to like push this down in order to make the ring show up like that. Even with it pushed all the way down, right? Like you can see here, so that way it makes it easier for the, the rings to protrude out like that. It does not cover my bag all the way. Look at that. Um, I think I need the bottom part of my bag to be covered as well. If it rolls off, what is it going to do? Roll right off and, sorry, <laughs> it wasn't on camera. If water rolls onto my bag, it's going to roll off and do what? Drip right here and get the bottom part of my bag wet. Why is this not long enough? Does not make sense at all. Now, I don't plan on using the raincoat. I don't pack it with me. So, you know, that's that. But... It's a design feature and it's a design flaw. So it's like kind of like a selling point where you, you really want that to work, but it doesn't make sense. So hopefully they improve that, but keep that in mind. If you think this raincoat is going to completely keep your bag from not getting wet, you are mistaken. Also, if you notice here, obviously this is pre-owned, so take this with a little bit of grain salt. It's already kind of torn up and actually it the tears help it lay better and flatter on the top part so it actually really fits well so that way the rings aren't getting caught up and it, it kind of sticking up a little bit higher so I, this just needs to be designed better if you really want it to be an effective accessory for your bag child and if you buy this brand new i mean you know this is probably somewhere near four thousand dollars look <laughs> We need we need these accessories well thought out. It, this this style has been out too long for that to still be like that. All right, so last up is going to be yes. So I already hinted at this before, but I'll reiterate just a little bit more on this and, and elaborate <laughs> a little bit more on this, which is these openings are narrow. So if you will see here, mind you, I have organizers. So that helps it stick out a little bit more, or basically keep the opening wider, but you really have to be mindful that these openings are tiny. They are not that big. So just keep that in mind because like I said, if there's, I have to be mindful of which side is closest to me depending on where I'm going. So most of the time I'm just going to the store. So the part that I want to have where I'm getting to my wallet, basically I wanna have it pushing away from my body so that way I can easily get in but usually I keep like my cash and card holder and phone on one side because I'm frequently grabbing that and then on the other side I will keep things like lotion and other stuff so the issue is when I need my lotion then I need to turn my bag around 
and then get it out. So just be mindful of kind of like where your items are that you're placing, kind of plan them out a little bit so that way it works the best for you. And you're probably thinking that's a lot, but I mean, if you really like the bag, it, it does work. And you just have to make those decisions on what's a deal breaker for you. In these things that I just mentioned are not deal breakers for me, but they're things that I have to be mindful about. Now, if in two years, if I change my mind and I'm like, you know what, I don't want to deal with that anymore, then I'll get rid of it then. But at this point in my life, I am enjoying it. There are cons. Nothing is perfect. And those are just some things to keep in mind. There's some other cons with it too. Like I mentioned, that other video, check it out if you want to hear some of those cons. Also, just Google or search in YouTube for Fendi videos. There's so many out there. And don't just watch one because each person has a different perspective and all of them point out you will either see a, a repetition happen where they're repeating the same thing so you know, okay, it's not just that person's thoughts or their style or just their opinion several people are saying it so you know I want to keep that in mind other people do point out unique things that other videos do not talk about so definitely I encourage you to watch as many videos as you possibly can if you really are considering this bag but it's very cute it's fun I like it so definitely let me know if you have any other questions thank you so much for spending a little point of your day with me I, it just means a lot and I'm really appreciative of you watching the videos, you liking the videos as well, as well as commenting down below. So I will talk to you again soon. Thank you so much and have a good day.